She's a big, fat, stupid bitch. Don't say bitch. She's a big, fat bitch. She's a big, fat bitch in the whole wide world. She's a stupid bitch. She's a bad boy. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. Too wild. That boy can't care. She's a bitch on Tuesday. She's a bitch on Wednesday. She's a Saturday. She's a bitch. Then on Sunday, just to be different, she's a super king. Come a a a b a. It's emerged that it was the Prime Minister who instructed Britain's most senior civil servant to tell the Guardian newspaper to destroy a computer which held files from the whistleblower Edward Snowden. The ceremony that took place in your basement, when um, the secret ceremony, you all just broke up the hard disks and the laptops, is that right? Is that what everyone Yeah, thought? it's harder to break up a, smash up a computer than you might think. The paper, which had other copies of the Snowden files overseas, agreed to take an angle grinder to the computer while the intelligence agents watched. We had the uh, initial pressure in which the cabinet secretary arrived in my office and told me we'd had enough debate on this subject. The state de decrees there's been enough debate, we'll stop that. Uh, and decided to drill out the hard disks of our computers uh, in order to stop us reporting from London. In America, the White House spokesman was asked, would Obama ever do such a thing? Uh, that's very difficult to imagine a scenario in which that would be appropriate. The serious point is this, and, and, it, go, and it goes back to Spycatcher, that, that I was completely clear with the, with the Cabinet Secretary that there were copies elsewhere, uh, and that, that the destruction of these computers was not going to stop reporting. It was just a public relations exercise in the end. I, I wouldn't say that, but I would say it was, it was pointless. Their, their, their aim was to, to stop publication and to have a dialogue of the sort that we were having, and Mr. Robbins' witness statement makes it apparent the reason they didn't go for an injunction was because they felt yes. that we were behaving responsibly. They lost control of the documents the moment they destroyed them in London.